So, <clears throat> I'm just, uh, became aware last night of a lesson I learned from my dad years ago. And my dad, when he finished his military stuff, ended up working in clothing factories, which, you know, I won't say they were sweatshops, but that stuff does go on in the clothing industry. Uh, the, the reason I say this, I'm just with a great friend of mine who is a clothing, uh, has a clothing label, and uh, he doesn't use them. But the lesson I learned was, I remember he was worked in a clothing factory, he wanted to relocate, and he didn't want to relocate, so he just decided to open his own business, his own clothing factory, that's what he knew. And uh, when he did, I remember him saying, he's, you know, I was about seven or eight years old, that normally in factories, people are looking at the person in front of them's back in clothing factories. So he devised this thing to have these rows of things, and he, he got some plywood or whatever it was, and made a, 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 a like a U shape and nailed it to the, the, the machines. Not the machines, but the, the, the uh, I don't know what you call them, but the things the machines are on. So people were facing each other. But not only that, all their crap they could just push into this thing in the middle, and at the end of the day, you just sweep it down and gone. So fairly innovative. Not been done before. You know, where'd you get that idea? Ah, just an idea. Reduce the time for cleanup, but more importantly, here's the lesson. His staff stayed with him for 20, oh, close to 25 years rarely ever left total harmony they went there because it was a place of, to socialize while they were working I remember him telling me one day about someone he hired and she uh, said you know we should form a union and my dad said yeah yeah, yeah the union factory is the one next door you can go there now thanks bye bye because these staff got treated right they got treated like humans and they were friends and I you know I still to this day remember the names of these ladies actually they're all ladies ladies that worked on sewing machines in my dad's factory i'm sure some of them have passed on now but there's a lesson there treat people as humans if you've got a business treat your staff as humans make it a place where people want to come to work not a place where people hate going to work if you've got a business and your staff are staying around for 20, 25 years, you're doing something very right. And it just popped in my brain this morning. So there you go. That's what I got for today. I'm squinting, the sun's in my eyes, I'm working on my tan. We're in New York, in uh, somewhere, Spanish Harlem, somewhere. Have a wonderful day.